Hi, sweeties. You are standing in my hallway right now. This is what it looks like when you enter from the front door. Let me just turn on the light here in the hallway so you can see a little bit better. And if you turn around, that is our front door. Very old school. And then here, if I back up a little bit, you can see our coat rack that I bought about two years ago. Because we never used to have a coat rack there. And uh, you can put our shoes underneath. And Kiki is in a very playful mood today, so you're going to be hearing her. You're going to hear her walk around and uh, try to taunt me to play. So here we have a picture that I got from Chris's grandma for Christmas one day. Kind of looks like something I could have drawn myself. <laughs> and on the opposite, opposite wall, if you turn around, we have three frames with prints in it that I bought in Quebec. Um, I've had those for quite a few years now. Just some very nice sceneries. Some of the recognizable landmarks, I guess, in Quebec. So this is our front uh, dining room. And we are still planning on painting this. The fireplace is going to look brown, uh, or at least part of it. And the walls are going to be white. And this is our popcorn machine. That we make our freshly popped popcorn in often. It has some wheels, it's just like the old style popcorn machine. And that's uh, a fake fireplace, it doesn't work. That mirror was already here when we moved in here. And then these are some picture frames that you've seen in some of my videos that we got from Chris's grandma. Really heavy frames, but we are thinking of switching out the paintings for uh, some of our own pictures that we took. These candles are here too already when we moved in here eight years ago now. Eight. Another really beautiful picture. This frame, unfortunately, is uh, a little bit broken on the side over here. But it doesn't really matter. It kind of adds to the effect of it looking old, because it is old. <laughs> so yeah, really nice, really nice picture frame. Uh, they were sitting on the fireplace for the longest time, and we finally hung them up. And then this is, I think, our last surviving IKEA furniture thing that we have, the light. And um, these are some plants that I'm selling soon. Aquarium plants, three different kinds. And this is um, uh, the thing that you put candles in, candle holder. It's uh, real silver that was sitting on the fireplace before and my old monitor that I'm also selling. And then right beside the window, we used to have a bookshelf, but we actually made a custom uh, bar shelf. And that f um, Amsterdam canvas from Ikea, oh, so I guess we have another piece of Ikea furniture in here, was in the bedroom and we moved it down here. And I also moved my snake plant down here. And this is a skull that I believe we bought in the Netherlands. That's a skull that used to have vodka. That's my Zen garden I used to do a video with. I've done a video with. And then, yeah, some of our glasses. And this is a really cool bottle opener. It's in the shape of a card ace. Um, it actually works really well. <laughs> Even though it might not look like it, but it yeah, it works really well. And then uh, here we have some uh, some glasses. And Chris just got this for his birthday, since we have a Mustang. 
So yeah, we have the Amsterdam canvas and then on the left we have two frames with two pictures that we took. That picture was taken at a bar called Hippie Fish in Zandvoort in the Netherlands. And then that is actually the beach at Zandvoort. I used to live seven minutes away from there. And uh, yeah, we stained uh, the wooden shelf ourselves, then cut it at an angle in the corner so it fits. Those are the poker chips, and those are the, the kennels of the dogs. They like to sleep in their kennels. And there is Kiki again, completely out of focus. She was really trying to get my attention while I was filming this. Which is funny because she never really taunts me to play, but I think it's because I was walking around so carefully that she was really like, what's going on? Like, do you want to play? <laughs> so cute. And then there is a little peek into our living room. Um, this is just the stairs that goes up, um, upstairs. It's the bathroom right there that you can see, the door. And then this is our living room. We have a mirror on that wall that we also got from Chris's grandma to reflect the light. We painted the walls white and all the window frames and doorposts brown. And um, yeah, this is what the front dining room will also look like. But right now, as you can see on the right, it is that greenish kind of color. So we really want to change it because we want to make everything look lighter. Um, so yeah, if you walk into the living room, right by the TV, or right by the couch, we have a TV that we mounted with speakers and we hung up a floating shelf. Like last week, two weeks ago. All of, most of the things we've done, we've done about two weeks ago, except for the painting. We have some cable management and I painted the cables and we're still going to paint that door brown as well. And um, yeah, here we have the beautiful mirror from Chris's grandma. Hi guys. <laughs> and yeah, it really makes the place feel much bigger to have a mirror there. And then this is a little dog bed, a little miniature couch that we got for Christmas. And then we have a beautiful plant here in the corner um, that we got from Chris's other grandma, from his mom's side. Really beautiful plant. Growing quite a few new leaves. And then this is a little uh, bamboo decoration in a vase. That's one of the first decorations. That, that is actually the first decoration we had when I moved here, to, when I moved to Canada. And then this is a spider plant that we got from Chris's mom and a wood slab that we bought from the thrift store. And then um, it's a semi-detached house, so that's the neighbors right there. But look at this plant, look at this leaf. Such beautiful patterns and beautiful colors almost looks fake. And then we have a lamp here, right above the couch, which is like a reading lamp. Not that we use it really for reading, we just, you know, it's a very nice vibe. And then this is our couch that we actually found for free. It's a real leather couch. And someone across the street from us threw it out while we were on our way to a birthday party and we're like, okay, we're gonna take it and switch out our IKEA, our IKEA couch. And this is our coffee table that we made ourselves. Um, well, we customized it, we put the rope around it, and we stained it the same color as the shelf, the, the little bar shelf. Oh, and look at Kiki, she really wants to play. I really think it's just because I'm low to the ground and walking around sneakily that she thinks I want to play. <laughs> She's so funny. We call her Squeaky Kiki because she talks a lot and she kind of squeaks. doesn't want to leave me alone <laughs> while I'm filming. Look at her. Like, 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 sniff, sniff. So yeah, that's our beautiful coffee table that we sanded and stained ourselves. And then here, 
we actually made a little photo wall that we've been wanting to do for years with pictures that we've taken. There's some of the pictures that we've taken throughout the 11 years we've been together now. Yeah, 11 years. That's one of the mills in close to my hometown in Heemstede. That's me at the beach as a silhouette during sunset. And then this one, um, this picture Chris took of me when we were in Scotland or in uh, Edinburgh. That's Chris with a Mustang. That's us in Vancouver. And then these are pictures of the puppies. Really beautiful frame. Uh, we also got this from Chris's grandma when we got the coffee tables, the other two frames that are hanging in the front dining room, and the mirror. And these are some other pictures. Um, this one down here is the ceiling of Tyler's Museum, which is the oldest museum in the Netherlands that's located in my hometown. That's the beach again, with like a little wooden stool during sunset. And that is uh, Chris that was figuring out how to use the 5D camera back in the day. Uh, that was in England actually, that picture. And then here we have some more pictures of the puppies and me. Some of these you might have seen on Instagram. If you have me on Instagram. That's a long time ago when Lena was still very young and we went kayaking when we were staying at the cottage. There, finally focus. And then that's us in Vancouver again. And then that's another picture of me in a Tyler's museum in my hometown Harlem in the Netherlands. Yeah, so really beautiful wall. Um, so yeah, this coffee table. Uh, is wood and it has like marble inside um, together with the other coffee table that's like a hexagon that the plant is sitting on that's the set that we got from Chris's grandma and this is the view and then we have a bookshelf there that we made ourselves. Chris saw this on Pinterest, and so he told me, you know, this is what this is what it looks like. So I made it. I made it. And then there's three shelves in there that are actually fake books. Um, and Chris designed covers to put around, and then we painted the edges white so that they look like books, like they're disguised as books. And then over here I have some roses that I got many, many years ago from Chris on different occasions. All dried out. Easiest way to keep them. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like, the front room. It's, it's really bright outside right now because of the snow. Look at Kiki. <laughs> Look at her, she wants to play. Let's chase her. Let's chase the kicker. Oh, there she goes. Upstairs. <laughs> she really likes um, hide and seek, like chasing and mouth wrestling. She plays a lot with uh, with Lena. So yeah, this, um, this coffee table I forgot to show you. It has a rope, but we left the end of the rope um, like this, so that it looks like a, like a tassel, I think you call it. It reminds me of uh, like a giant um, thing that you put in your sewing machine with, with the, the thread on it. Reminds me of a giant version of that. So then we have this wing chair here that we bought a cover for. Um, and uh, Chris actually found this wing chair for free. Here, let me, let me fix it. So during the day, 
or well not during the day mostly during the evening this is actually Kiki's chair Kiki always likes to uh, sit on this chair at night or she likes to lie in between us on the couch but yeah she just wants to you know relax chill with us um, usually she sits on this chair and Lena nowadays um, really likes to lay on the little doggy bed that we got for Christmas on the other side. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so look at the geeker. <laughs> she really wants to play so bad. Look, <laughs> we always play around this pillar here in the middle, piece of wall. Well, it's almost come to an end. Little Kiki wants to have some rubs, wants a little little tussle with my hands. I think Lena's upstairs right now. But uh, yeah, she, look at her. She just wants to play, wants to get pets. So funny that right when I'm about to do a house tour, she's walking around and like taunting me to play. Like, great timing, Kiki. <laughs> Oh, there's no such thing as time. Oh, puppies. Cute little fluffs. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just, uh, you know, walking around a little bit. Um, yeah, that popcorn machine really is awesome. It has a little light that we always turn on at night. And uh, this house, especially in the evening when it gets dark, has some real vibes to it. So, uh, yeah. We're still going to paint the hallway. Uh, we won't have to paint the ceiling, but yeah, the hallway, the doors, they're all gonna look the same as the living room. The main living room area that we've painted already in last year, August. And, uh, yeah, the same for this room. The walls become white and, um, the window frames, the door posts will be brown. We base the colors off the original door so you can see on the left. So, I would like to, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you again next week. Bye, sweeties. 